Good afternoon, welcome to another video with a guy and his projects. So you guys liked the last video I did like this. Uh, we put a roof basket on the top of our minivan, the Chrysler Town and Country. I think the big appeal to that is I purchased it right before uh, COVID happened and all prices went jacked up. So it was pretty cheap back then. This is still cheap. This was when I paid for it, it was $127, I think and uh, I'm hoping it's good quality. We're gonna put it on top of the 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan and to make everybody happy, that chewed me out for not having, <clears throat> because I didn't mention that my van has the roof rack capability ahead of time. I'm telling you now, my van has a roof rack capability. Yours may or may not, don't know, don't care. This is what we're doing today. This is gonna be a little review and install and assembly video. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> this one comes in a pretty small box, which is uh, means there's probably a lot of assembly. Uh, we're gonna verify that here in a minute, of course, but. This tack weld on this bad boy right here has already broken off. That could be potentially a bummer, but we're gonna move on regardless. So as of now, I can see a couple issues. One, we know that the threaded insert that the screw goes into on one of these busted off out of the packaging. Uh, that's pretty sketchy to me. I don't like that at all. Um, but we'll go ahead and try and weld it back together the best I can. Second thing I really don't like is this. Yeah. That's going to make so much freaking racket on the roof, it's ridiculous. Not really sure what we're going to do about it, but we're going to have to do something about it. So in the meantime, let me weld this together. All right, so I'm not claiming to be proud of how this turned out, but it did turn out better than, well, the one they sent. So I just got it welded all back together. Uh, I kind of melted through and I had to grind it back off. Uh, I'm not a professional welder by any means, but it's back on and uh, I had to grind off for a ground. It's back on some now. We're going to put this in with all the other ones and paint it. Yes, that rattle, this plate is either coming off or getting something mounted to it. So this is a big rattling. Hey. The other side. 
that. We're ready to uh, put it on the van when my wife gets back home. So we're going to take this plastic piece, pick up the corner, put it in place, and we're going to squish it down to where the other ones are. Take this one up here, put it down, crossbar. in Do -do -do -do. okay I'm just gonna tighten those as much as we can All right guys, that's how you install the rack on the van, how you assemble, install, all that good stuff. Super simple, super easy, uh, frustrating, just a teeny weeny bit, but easy peasy lemon squeezy. Seems to be of decent quality, minus that weld. Uh, we're gonna throw the tire up there in a minute, so stay tuned. Okay, so we got the tire up there. We got the rack up there. It's a nice looking rack. I like the look of it um, I'm not sure how dependable it's, dependable it's gonna be just because that weld broke off of the one thread insert um, But we'll find out time will tell uh, I got the tire strapped down I put it up wise instead of down wise so I can access the valve stem to check the tire pressure before we go on a vacation or anything like that or just here and there I did two corner straps. So I got one on the back driver's side. And then we put another one on the front passenger side. So I just got them hooked into each other. And hopefully this does uh and hopefully this does alright. So we're gonna go take it for a test drive, see how much rattle rattle and whatnot it does. Uh, I'm not anticipating any problems per se, but uh I guess you really never know. So, anywho, uh, I'm gonna go take it for a good 20 minute drive and uh, we'll be back. Hi right, guys, so clearly <laughs> we've been in South Dakota for a few weeks now, a month or two actually, a couple months. So before we left, I filmed a bunch of footage. I just started hammering footage out because I knew there'd be a couple months once we got up here where I wouldn't be able to create videos, uh, repair things, upgrade things, stuff like that. I've proven myself wrong. We did the air intake on the Titan, check out that video. So I had an intro for the van, but I figured it'd be actually be weather to better to wait and film the, sorry about the wind, it's super windy today. See if I can cover the mic with my hand. Um, <clears throat> I figured it'd be better to wait to do this outro until I was editing the video because then I'd have a few miles with this basket and could tell you guys exactly what I thought of it. So since putting on that basket, I put that on the week we left or the week before we moved into our first hotel room. I really hope it's not too windy on you guys. Oh, hey, there's the van right there. So I put that on <laughs> right before we left uh, the house and got into a hotel room. Since then we've put couple thousand miles on the van with the rack uh, including driving from Arizona to South Dakota through uh, Wyoming where it's super breezy and windy and everything and I gotta say it's worked out pretty good so it's super rattly uh, like when you slam the doors on the van you can hear the ladder rack rattle but once you're in the vehicle you don't hear it at all whatsoever uh, there's a little hum from the wind noise but that happens with any ladder rack uh, but the rattle that I was really nervous about in the garage is not there so of course it's gonna get super windy now but anyway uh, real quick so there's the van uh, it made it just fine tire made it just fine all that stuff um, like I mentioned that's 
still super obnoxious. Uh, so when you slam a door, you hear it, that's it. You don't hear it when it's just sitting there. You don't hear it in the van. You don't hear it rattling ever. So overall, my thoughts on this, still a little sketched out by the tack welds that hold the bars, uh, that hold the threaded insert for the bars. None of them have broken except for the one that was broken in the package. So I guess we're all right. The ratchet straps have held. I haven't even had to tighten them. Um, they're fraying on the ends from the wind, but that's to be expected. Eventually, someday, I'll find some way to do it. Uh, the It is not bending with the weight of the tire. Uh, that's something else I was uh, slightly concerned about. So, overall, yeah, I guess I'm happy with it for as cheap as it was. I'm not going to complain. It hasn't rusted yet, uh, and it's been quite moist up here. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So guys keep watching we'll have a garage soon uh this i'm the time i'm editing this video is about three weeks before it posts and as of now we're about 12 days away from closing on the house so hopefully by the time you see this video we have a house and a garage um i'm really hoping so uh the garage ain't going to be quite what we're used to but uh it's going to be something that's better than not having a garage so anywho thanks for watching guys stay tuned and uh stay around we'll we'll keep them coming